What's good YouTube? This is Jay Stacks with another FL, uh, not F, FL tutorial, and this one's to do with AO8s. So, a lot of people ask me, how comes, uh, how comes my AO8s don't overlap? It's a, that's a very simple question. There's two ways you could go about this, and there's two ways you should go about this. It's very simple. Now, this, this, this is one of the AO8s in the beat, and as you, let's hear it now. Unedited. This is unedited. I think it's mixed, but it's under edit edited. So here we go. Fucking play, bitch. As you can, as I don't know if you can tell, but I can clearly hear that the the bass from the previous note is overlapping the bass in the new note. Now, how do we stop that? There's two ways you can go about it. First step, first step is once you pick your bass, whatever bass it is, you right click on it and cut itself. That's it. Technically, technically that's done. But for me, I like to add a bit more security into it and I'll go into my channel settings. Now on channel settings, you go to instrument properties, make sure it's on volume. Once it's on volume, check this little box. So make sure the light's on. Now, this is the fun part. Make sure the attack time is all the way down, the hold time is all the way up, the decay time, mm, we could just say, make sure it's on 11 o'clock. Actually, let's say 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Sustain level could go to, I don't know, it could go to, I don't know, three o'clock. Actually, let's put on two o'clock and release, release is um, six, no, not six o'clock, seven, seven o'clock. That would be seven o'clock, right? Yeah, so now you should be able to hear the difference. Now you can hear every bass, nice, clean, it starts. And that's a very simple way of making sure your your airways don't overlap. And also with the second technique, with the technique I've just done in the channel settings, if I press C, the moment I release my finger, the bass will cut. Did you hear that? That's a very also good, that's a, also a very good trick to do, especially if you want to do like stop and start basses and stuff like that, bass bending and all of that stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe, and look out for some more videos. <laughs>